I'm with Umair Choksky from Kent Business School from the University of Kent today and we're going to talk a little about his research and areas of interest and how that might be relevant to the business community today. So hello Umair and welcome, thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. Please tell us about the school you work for and your area of interest. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, uh, again, you already know my name. Uh, my name is Dr. Omer Choksi. Uh, I work at uh, Kent Business School. Um, my research interests are uh, about SME suppliers in global supply chains. Um, their uh, overarching theme is resilience, crisis management, and uh, another of my interest is uh, governance of global supply chains. Uh, that is mainly regard to the multinational enterprises and how they govern their global supply chain. So if I have to summarize, my research interest lies uh, in the areas of resilience and governance of global supply chains, focusing on both the SME suppliers and the multinational enterprises that uh, who orchestrate the global supply chains. So, so I was just thinking how in your summary, um, your message about resilience, uh, it's really relevant at this moment in time with um, obviously the current situation we're in, the worldwide global pandemic. Um, so I guess, what have you been working on most recently then? So um, my focus has been uh, mainly about these SME suppliers who are uh, operating uh, in a polit politically unstable environment and an environment where the institutions are uh, quite weak. So uh, there's a lot of uncertainty that these uh, SME suppliers face. So I look into how these SME suppliers initiate their connection with multinational enterprises, buyers, how they maintain that connections despite having no institutional resources to help them uh, with this uh, process, how they learn new capabilities, grow themselves, technology, uh, technologically become more advanced uh, despite having uh, 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 practically no uh, uh, institutional skills, educational environment that are required to meet the global demands uh, of the multinational buyers. So uh, I look at the process and the overarching theme over here is resilience because in this process they, uh, this, they initiate with a lot of disadvantages and uh, uh, when we look at the process, they, they face a lot of uncertainties. So there's a lot about uh, crisis management being a core part of their strategy and yeah. uh, how they uh, tackle uh, uh, those uncertainties about building new capabilities to meet the demands of buyers and as well as building relationship with the buyers. Um, um, I think it's a it's a quite a relevant research in the pandemic that we live in, uh, because even though the research is focused upon these SME suppliers in developing countries, um, uh, the kind of uh, uncertainties that they have been facing, there's a lot to learn uh, uh, from them on how to tackle the growing uncertainty that we see in the geopolitical environment uh, with the global health pandemic and a lot of uncertainties that we see, there's a lot to learn from how uh, SMEs from these developing countries are handling uh, some of the responses that they have been facing uh, just because of their country of origin. Yeah, yeah. So you work with um, SMEs and large corporates, so it doesn't kind of, size is kind of irrelevant to your, to your expertise. And is that all over the, that could be in the UK or and the developing world, the rest of the world, or is is your expertise relevant to specific regions? So um, I initially started with the developing world, uh, but now my current research is looking at both the uh, the lead firm buyers, the multinational enterprises buyers and uh, the SME suppliers. So SME suppliers are usually uh, located in developing world and uh, multinational enterprises buyers are usually located in the developed uh, region. So I look at the connection, how they are coordinating with each other. Uh, currently I'm uh, uh, conducting uh, a survey design research 
uh, and uh, certain qualitative interviews in the IT industry and apparel industry, looking at how they are coordinating uh, under the uh, current pandemic uh, and how they are meeting each other's expectations, especially the SME suppliers. But even to understand the SME suppliers, you need to understand the perspective of the multinational enterprise buyers. Yes. Um, so that's one area. Another one is on the governance of global supply chain. So this one is particularly focused upon the MNEs, the multinational enterprise buyers, uh, and these are, you know, organizations uh, like, uh, you know, H&M and, uh, you know, Primark. Uh, uh, so organizations like these, I'm not particularly in connection with them, no, uh, but no. organizations like these, uh, I'm, uh, um, you know, studying them at the moment and how they are, you know, coping up with the current pandemic and, uh, you know, being able to govern the supply chain chains in a way that uh, leads to not just uh, you know the deliverables timelines for the multinational enterprises but also uh, you know the the supplier is better off as well uh, so we you know just to give you one example we conducted interviews with uh, some buyers and suppliers where about there there were a lot of cancellation going on of the orders because of the global pandemic but there are some buyers who did not uh, uh, you know uh, initiate any cancellation in fact they increased their support towards their suppliers so uh, there's a lot of you know differences in the way yeah. That you know, organizations are governing their global supply chain under pandemic, and that is a lot to do with their strategy, how their crisis uh, management tactics, and how they see their relationship with their SME suppliers. Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, just uh, ju so just to you know summarize uh, both of the perspective. But yeah, the overarching theme goes back to the resilience of the global supply chains and the governance of global supply chains. It's I find it really, really interesting. And I think it's it's relevant to all sorts of organisations, as you've said, and it's particularly relevant to all sorts of organisations in this in this unprecedented times that we're currently living in. So at Kent Business School and in your own research, um, you work with all sorts of different people. Um, but if any companies are interested in um, collaborating with you or benefiting from your expertise, then we would encourage them to get in touch uh, at the moment and the contact details will be attached to this video. Um, but really, you're kind of open for collaborations and open for interested parties to get in touch um, over this uncertain time and into the future, hopefully when things are back to our new normal. Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, um, currently, uh, I think uh, uh, the managers out there, the SMEs and both the multinational enterprises need to really rethink uh, their strategies, uh, particularly how they coordinate uh, across borders, uh, because uh, many times what we see is that, uh, you know, under the current situation, th there's much more reliance on, you know, online platform technology uh, yeah. to coordinate, uh, you know, meeting the requirements and, uh, you, know, you know, to understand the suppliers, to understand the buyers. Uh, so I think there's a need to uh, think about uh, the coordination strategy across border and it's not just about technology so you know a, a lot of uh, organizations talk about okay what technology are you using are you using blockchain are you using you know skype uh, what kind of platform are you using but th it's so much more than that uh, it, it there's a lot of human element to it as well but yeah. you have to understand that um, a lot of these uh, you know relationships are across borders from different cultures from different you know regulatory environment so it's really important for first of all the SME supply to understand the needs of their multinational buyers because those needs are emerging from a completely different environment where SMEs are operating. Secondly, they need to ensure that uh, SME suppliers' progress is uh, effectively monitored by the multinational enterprises buyers and it's not just about the technology it's about being available and being av available to communicate in a way that yeah. the progress uh, whether it's uh, you know a software 
uh, you know, uh, application that uh, the SME supplier is making or uh, a piece of cloth uh, and apparel uh, an SME supplier is, you know, uh, manufacturing. It's very important to have those communication platforms to communicate with the buyer uh, that the progress is up to date. Uh, uh, finally, it's really, really important and I, I've mentioned previously as well, the crisis management needs to be at the core of the strategy of the SME suppliers. Um, for So uh, in the research that I looked at, these Pakistani SME suppliers, um, they, they had their political unstable condition at the core of their strategy that how the political condition may change, uh, the, how it can impact the uh, company strategy in you know coordinating uh, with their M&E buyers and same uh, with the research that I saw with M&E buyers when they were you know coordinating with their SME suppliers they were very very much considerate of the potential crisis that can come about so it's really important to study those to understand that environment and it goes so much beyond the technology it goes so much beyond the capability of each of the parties it it is to understand the culture it is to understand the the contingencies and it is to understand the emerging relationship that you have with suppliers and i think one final you know recommendation that i would give is about experimentation because a lot of many buyers uh, you know uh, look at the country profile like india china because they, they have a really good reputation in the international markets i would encourage them to experiment uh, with supply with smaller projects are lesser known because many times these lesser known suppliers turn out to be more uh, you know committed to the relationship and you know uh, bring out more innovation and resilience in the relationship so i will end there thank you very much thank you thank you i think i think it's really really interesting you made your research and i think any company out there could benefit from having a discussion with you about how to manage this sort of thing um and like i say we would welcome anyone to get in touch and to continue the dialogue and hear a little bit more and um, so thank you thank you for your time today man to tell us about your research and we hope to hear more from you soon you're welcome thank you for having me